Yo, what's up everyone? Tin Man here. Uh, playing round one of the ETS this week. Up against Tony G. Uh, I'm playing Combray Aggro. He's on um, FJS R Armory. Armory. This thing's not very good. Can't really cast any of my threats. So we'll redraw this. Sands a decent bit better. We're going second, which is a little unfortunate because I'd like to play um, you know, student going first. <coughs> and the sand got a whole lot worse. Trying that fifth power, really not at all what we want. This deck tops out at four. Seraph is a nice addition, but uh, might be, might not be enough. We'll see. Um, you know what's what's really good in this matchup well early aggression is really good in this matchup um copper hall elite assuming he doesn't have um a rune hammer is quite good play the record keeper here um if he has rune hammer we're just in a whole lot of trouble uh rise the challenge is not a rune hammer though so i'm not that upset about that uh, i probably grabbed him a rune hammer to be fair uh but that's kind of situation we're in not a lot we can do about it if he does have a harsh rule that pretty much blunts our entire offense he had to seek power which probably means that's his last power um i think i'm okay with this because i can still kill that weapon uh using valk enforcer plus uh killer uh but we're pretty much out of gas here and uh, if he has just one or two removal spells here, we're, we're pretty well dead. Chrono Artisan is not really that impactful. Another killer. Uh, well, if this play like an Akaria right after this, that means the killer can actually deal with the Akaria. So I'll hold on to that. Yeah, okay. Uh, not the worst. Uh, so what I can do is... Ooh, I can give a new Record Keeper killer. Yeah, okay. Use that to kill this guy. Buff of the Valk Enforcer. Um, and then A space here. Gets him pretty low. He's going to jump over here, go to six. And now he's like harsh ruler bust. And even then, you know, we've got... Um, then he's out of cards in hand. And we're his top deck four here. <sighs> harsh rule was his last card. Jesus. All right. Fair enough. Well, Sandy T, not bad. Uh, hold on this power, obviously, in case of uh, an awakened student, we want to be able to buff it up. <sighs> nine, nine, throne order, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, um, I thought we were in good shape. But uh, our opponent drew uh, exceptionally well there. You know, from having the harsh rule as his last card to hitting the big uh hitting the big nine nine uh i thought we had that game in the bag but uh he pretty much had the perfect uh answers there all right let's go to sideboard here uh let's clone our sideboarded deck and see what we got going on so not really interested in praxis displacer uh he doesn't have too many things i want to bounce and and things that i am bouncing he just kind of gets value out of again I definitely want the extra stand together. Desert Marshal is not great. Uh, Initiation is not even that great. It, it was decent that game, but I think in general it's not really where I want to be. Um, or is Vanquish worse? Vanquish is probably worse. Zen Initiation can at least get through some of his stuff. Uh, maybe cut four more cards. Combray Healer is probably not great either. Some of the combat tricks are decent to keep my guys alive through his weapons and stuff like that. Um, I like Sauropod, I like Amber Monument. Give me a little bit more late game. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this. All right. Uh, let's just send a message. Where's Tony G at? There he is. All right. Ready when you are. That <clears throat> was a little unfortunate we lost that game. Um, you know, like I said, I, I thought we were in pretty good shape. Um, we didn't have a very fast start, uh, comparatively, you know, uh, opponent had, you know, I mean, just going second is not a very fast start with this kind of a deck. Um, as an aggro deck, you always want to be going first since you get to play your guys before they get to play theirs and, and you kind of get that initiative. 
Um, but this deck in particular, because you don't have any one drops, it just relies on two drops to start the aggression. That a two drop on the on the draw is very slow, comparatively. Compared to say like, okay, if you're in second with Skycrag aggro, you can still play an Oni Ronin or a Snowcrust Jetty or something on turn one and not be terribly far behind, especially against a deck that plays like a lot of depleted sources and stuff like that. So let's see if this game goes a little bit better. Uh, we lost the viral again, unfortunate. Uh, this end's also pretty bad, so we'll redraw. This end's also pretty bad. I'd like to redraw again, but it's not an option. If we draw a, a single sigil, I think we're, it's pretty good hand, though. We do need to draw a sigil on this turn exactly, though. Otherwise, it's way, way, way too slow. Sigil. Diplo seal essentially counts. Um, it's a little bit worse. But we're just going to do it just to get out student and hope he doesn't have a torch. Does not have a torch, so things are looking okay. Uh, I still can't play a 3 drop here unless I draw... Oh, there's the sigil. Alright, sweet. So now I can actually make the attack. I make the attack first. If he wants to try to torch, then I have stand together. Um, but Sraf makes sense. Uh, I probably want to try to stand together this board here next turn. Because uh, it'll get his got my guys out of range of like a, a rune hammer from him, and that protects me against the harsh rule uh, this coming turn. So I'm just gonna stand together right now. And this actually is like probably going to beat him. Like he's gonna really struggle to deal with this board. He's probably relying on a harsh rule, and harsh is gonna like pop the first aegis. And then I'm just going to play another, actually, five, eight, yeah, I'm just going to play another stand together. Bash him again, and that's game over. Okay, so a quick, uh, quick game two. That's uh, exactly what we want out of our deck. You know, plays an early threat, play a stand together, win the game. Um, yeah, let's just run it back, same list. Uh... <clears throat> okay. Let's do this. Lost the die roll a third time, man. This game does not want me to uh, be going first with an aggro deck, huh? This hand's not very good. I can't cast any of my cards. Uh, this hand's a decent bit better. Actually, quite a bit better. We got the early aggression. We've got some Aegis threats. Um, yeah. Play that depleted, and then play turn two. Probably Crown Watch Paladin, because it's much more likely to survive a turn uh, to make future uh, Combrid Banners come to play untapped. And I get War Cries going. I could attack for one more, but I'd rather get a War Cry going, I think. Uh, and it's also just guaranteed I get to... Uh, Alright, well, I'll just kill it. It's alright, though. So I can still play Student, play the Banner, hold open Finest Hour if he tries to kill it with like a Rune Hammer or something. It's not a rehammer. Maybe he plays another sort of Akaria. Be alright with that. Slay. Okay. He's got all the good removal this time. And we're drawing a little bit, uh, a little bit too much power here. A lot too much power, actually. Yep. Ugh. Yuck. All right. I gotta save it here. Not ideal, but that's what we got. You know, no more units. Very good start, but I think we just drew like all power since then. That card lets me beat an Akaria, for what it's worth. Um, we'll just play it. Just as a threat. Uh, so he doesn't, he isn't able to cast the Ikaria with the Harsh Rule. Okay, well, it's still just one for ones, really. Pops and Aegis, not the biggest thing. More power. Exactly what we did not need. Twin Brood Sauropod would be nice. Very nice. But he doesn't have an Ikaria. 
Pretty damn good shape. Head for three here, get another Warcry. I'll start holding power for Awakened students. A second Harsh Rule, okay. I guess that's fair, you know, considering he hasn't had a threat yet. Sure. We go 5 5. And this actually beats Akari since, again, initiation to kill it for value. You just got a statuary maiden. Must have just wanted to grab Slay. Uh, uh, nine power out of my aggro deck. Not really where we want to be. And then he grabs Akari. Damn. Uh, so I guess if he can't actually answer this, he can start activating it. Probably has just a kill spell for it though. Or he's gonna find one. Okay. So I need something a miracle here. All right. Hopefully we hit a sandstorm titan or something. <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, that game did not go very well. We got very flooded. I mean, we drew more power than he did. Um, so that's a little unfortunate. Uh, oh well, uh, lost round one.